Newsted Mobile just has posted the first teaser about the upcoming January update. We said there are already some hints for new content and there is sand and a compass. Does that mean that the desert map is dropping in January? Let's talk about it. This morning I woke up and saw the post of New State Mobile. Right, this one. New update is coming soon and it says January update top secret. It also gives us some hint about vehicle, dynamic gunplay and balance overhaul and the coming soon. And I was like, all right, that is a lot of input. And then I looked deeper into those pictures and I got super hyped. And if you are already hyped about that update, then you should now press definitely that like button and share the video with your friends and leave a nice comment. Before we start discussing these things, a little bit of a disclaimer. All these things I'm telling you are non-official information and just pure speculation by me. And I have no background information, so I'm sorry for that. And don't take it 100% serious that all these things will come true, because they won't come true in that way, as I don't have any background information. In the bottom left side it says vehicle, and we can see that the electron, and this is already for sure showing pre-existing vehicle, but there is a second picture in behind. I can't barely see it, it says an N on it. Is it a vehicle? Is it a helicopter? Is it something? I really don't know it. We will find it out most likely with the update, but what do you think? Does it mean a new vehicle is coming? On the right side it says dynamic gunplay. Two weapons are shown, is this one the M249 or the MG3? I can't really see that very well, but is that really important? I think dynamic gunplay just tells us that they will change something at the dynamic gunplay. Is it really dynamic or is it still slow? For my own purpose I think Still, the gunplay is quite slow if you compare it to other faster games, but it is already faster than some slower games. Sometimes it feels really slow to pick out the gun and then start to shooting. This could be a thing where I saw some feedback in the past which might get changed. That is my guess that they will change something at the animation of pulling off a weapon once again, make it a little bit faster or the switching in between the guns make that in general a little bit faster. Or some crazy thing. Weapon overheating at the LMGs. I don't know, LMGs are no meta, so why make them worse? Because normally overheating tells you to stop shooting and wait to a little bit cool down, start to shoot again. And I'm not sure if that would be something we will see at New State Mobile. Even that would be realistic as guns are heating up with shooting. What do you think on that, guys? And on the right side, we can see the most crazy thing of that picture. It says coming soon at the top, and there is one picture, and it says balance overhaul. General balance overhaul implies that something which is already existing is being changed to make it a little bit better. Could it mean that the Tommy Gun is getting a nerf? This was the first thing I thought on when I read these two words. Because Tommy Gun is quite OP and definitely the best SMG. And if they nerf it, it would be a balance, oops, balance overhaul and it would be still good to play. And the meta would shift slightly towards maybe the other SMGs as well, make them all more well balanced which would help definitely in the game. But the picture, does it really fit to any weapon overhaul? I don't think so. This could be a drone or either helicopter. I'm, I'm not sure, but I guess it will be a kind of a drone, maybe something new. It says coming soon. What do you think of that? Will we see something crazy coming in the January update? I think something crazy is coming, but not from this one, more from the top position of that post. We can see there are two chicken medals. This is all right, two chicken medals, not too crazy. Maybe any kind of a reward for playing something. But else, what else we could see there? There is desert sand, or at least sand, and a compass. Hmm. All right, we will see in the first quarter of this year a new desert map. This is confirmed by the developers for 100%. And also... The compass and this looks all like like yeah desert sand this like the map is around the corner the compass normally the compass needle you align it towards north that you know ah there compass is showing to the north it is aligned to the north position all right there is north and i need to go there but north is showing to southeast and southeast could mean there are a lot of deserts around there if you look on the world globe or on the map, southeast, it's the bottom right side, that is Australia. I don't think we will see the new map playing in Australia. I think more in a southeast Asian desert maybe, but this is pure speculation. But for me, showing or the indicator that the compass is aligned with southeast shows that this is clearly an indicator where 
our travel will go to with the upcoming map. And don't take it too serious as I said before. But another nice thing which I just saw today as I was like, hmm, is this the only hint? No, in my opinion, no. On the 1st of January, they have posted Happy New Year Wishes with a video showing thrones. And that was basically my connection. If that picture below shows a throne, we have seen thrones in this trailer. And then look the trailer again. And this trailer really shows a desert in my opinion. If you look into it, that is kind of crazy. When the throne starting to fly, this looks definitely like a desert with some rocks coming out of the desert ground. And this could indicate, yes, we are here introducing the desert map very very soon i mean it we know all that it is coming in the first quarter but it was crazy to see now afterwards hey in the let's go 2023 trailer they are showing a desert so that could be one of the first things introducing in 2023 and the january update would fit the best for it what are your thoughts on this huge speculation because this is might be the biggest speculation we, are, we have done here so far one further thing, which is nice and you may did not see there. We have seen this top secret information already in the past. When they have posted in August the update information, it says New State Labs top secret and they said New State Labs is launching soon. Only a limited number of survivors will be able to test out and provide feedback on upcoming content before they go live. And this was, if I'm right, the introduction of Bounty Royale on the new map Akinta. All right, last time showing this top secret thing we saw Akinta getting introduced now they're seeing it the second time maybe another new map but a huge thing which we can't see right now it does not say new state labs at the January update so whatever is coming everybody will be able to access this and it will most likely not be in the labs otherwise I think they would have shown that it will be part of the labs but this is also speculation and I'm hoping the best that we all can access the new map in the January update. If it does not come in the January update, we will still have February and the March update. The new season is starting right now in the January update and another one would start most likely in March. So there would be two season starts where it would be great to see a new map right away for the season push. So these are my opinions and ideas about these posts. If you have any further ones or your ideas uh, similar to mine, please let me know it all down below in the comment section. And now I can't even wait for the upcoming trailer as I'm super excited for the upcoming January update at New State Mobile. Thank you guys for watching and see you again on the Battlefront.